All right, so today we're going to do third grade math. And our topic is going to be subtraction with two digits. With two digits. All right, so this is a fairly simple topic. So it's pretty much instead of one digit where we did 10... 5 minus 2, we're going to do 15 minus 12. Questions like that, so let's get started with that. Alright, so you guys definitely remember doing questions like 5 minus 3, and you would get the answer as 2. You guys definitely remember doing that. So, in this video, we're going to do questions like, you know, 15 minus 12. Both of them are two, dig two digits, and we just have to do a regular subtraction. So, let's get started with these. So, let's take a fairly simple example to start off with. Let's take the example of 25 minus 12. So, a first step in doing this is breaking this up into right and left-hand columns. So, let's make our dotted lines. So, we have our right-hand column, and we have our left-hand column. So, what we have to do is subtract just the right hand column meaning we would subtract 5 and 2 5 minus 2 is just 3 then we would go on and subtract the left hand column the left hand column is just 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 is just 1 sir so our answer to this question is just 13 let's go on to another question so let's say we have 28 minus 12 22 so let's break this up into two columns first all right we have our right and left hand columns now we have to do just the right hand column subtraction so the right hand column subtraction is 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is just 6 then we do our left hand column subtraction which is 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is just 0 so our answer to 28 minus 22 is just 6 it's regular subtraction. So what we're doing in this is exactly the same thing as regular subtraction, except in two steps rather than just one step. So let's do another problem. This one's gonna be a bit different than what we've just what we than what we've been doing so far. So pay close attention. So let's say we have twenty six minus seventeen. All right, this is a bit difficult. Because you can't do 6 minus 7. 6 minus 7 is not possible. So to do this type of question, let's break this up into the right hand and left hand columns. Alright. Now that we have this, we would usually do, you know, just the right hand column first. But we can't because the, the number on top is lower than the number on the bottom. And to attack these type of problems, we have to borrow a digit from the left hand column so when we borrow we instead of this being a 2 this becomes a 1 instead of this being a 6 this becomes a 16 16 so now we have to do the right hand column this so when we do the right hand column we do 16 minus 7 and 16 minus 7 is just 9 then we do the left hand column, which is 1 minus 1. And 1 minus 1 is just 0. So our answer to this comes out to be 9. Alright, so the next slide is going to compose of a few questions that you guys can try on your own by pausing the video, or you guys can watch me go through them. So let's get started with that. Alright, here we go. So I made a few questions to start off with. So. Let's do this first question right here, 53 minus 21. So to do this, we would break it up into three, two columns, the left and right hand column. So now we would do just the right hand column subtraction, 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is just 2. Then we would go on and do our left hand column subtraction, which is just 5, mi five minus 2. And 5 minus 2 is just 3. Alright, so the answer to this question comes out to be 32. Not bad. Now let's go on to this question. 
let's do what we always do, break this up into left and right hand columns. After breaking it up into left and right hand columns, we would do our right hand subtraction and then our left hand subtraction, meaning 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is just 1. Then we would do our left hand column subtraction, which is 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is just 5. So our answer is 62 minus 11 is just 51. Not bad. Pretty easy. Now let's go on to a bit of a harder problem. So let's do what we always do first. Let's break it up into left and right hand columns. Alright. So we know that the number on top right here, the 8 and 9, we would usually do 8 minus 9. But we can't do 8 minus 9 because the 8 is smaller than the 9. So to do this, we would have to borrow a number from the 8. So we would make this a 7, and this would become an 18. Now we can do this problem. So to attack this problem now, we would do 18 minus, 18 minus 9. 18 minus 9 is just 9. Then we would go on and do our left-hand column subtraction, which is 7 minus 2. And 7 minus 2 is just 5. So our answer to 88 minus 29 is 59. Because we had to borrow. It took a bit more time to solve it out. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. And thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.